and thank you for joining us at the 2021 Morris Murdoch Virtual Travel Show. My name is Swapna with Carnival Cruise Line, and I'm excited here to be here today to share with you some of the great things we have on the horizon. It's really a time to celebrate with Carnival Cruise Line, so let's get started. We've got news, good news, and even better news. So today I want to talk a little bit about what we've been doing with our fleet during this pause in operations. We also have Mardi Gras debuting this year, and she's got some very fun and exciting features that I'd like to share with you. And then we also have Carnival Celebration and Celebration cruises happening in 2022. So the good news is, while we've been in this pause in operations, we've taken this opportunity to update some of our ships as well as in the process of working on current ships and new ships. So we did put three ships into dry dock for some TLC. So the Carnival Paradise, which is based in Tampa, the Carnival Valor, which is based in New Orleans, and the Carnival Magic based in Norfolk and Port Canaveral, went in for a dry dock and have come out looking so fresh and so clean and ready to welcome you on board when we do resume sailing. We also took the Carnival Victory and it's in the process of a ship transformation to become Carnival Radiant. So she will be completely refitted with all new features all new experiences, and we recently announced that the Carnival Radiance will be moving to Long Beach to join Carnival Panorama and sailing from there again once we resume sailings. We've also been in the process of some new ship builds, so the Mardi Gras is complete. She is in Europe at the moment, and once we are ready to start sailing, she will be heading to Port Canaveral and ready to share all those fun experiences with you. Carnival Celebration is a sister ship to the Mardi Gras, and we just cut steel on Celebration a few weeks ago, and so she will be ready to go in 2022 and sailing from Miami year round. So stay tuned for more on that. The Carnival Radiance, as I mentioned, was the Carnival Victory, getting a major makeover, and some of the fun features on this ship is uh, one of the biggest ones is that we did partner with Shaquille O'Neal, who is our CFO, our Chief Fun Officer, and he has put a big chicken restaurant at sea on the Radiance, which will debut there. And then will also be featured on some of our other ships as well. And then if you're familiar with any of the other experiences on our ships, we do have Carnival Waterworks, Red Frog Pub, Cloud Nine Spa, along with many of the other features that you are familiar with if you sailed with Carnival before. So a few years ago, we did redo the entire Long Beach cruise terminal. So we did add more seating inside the terminal. We made it a two-way terminal so that embarkation and debarkation are happening simultaneously, which has made the boarding process much more seamless and able to get our, our guests on their ship to start their vacation as soon as they get there. So Mardi Gras, this is a new ship that will truly change the cruise world, and she does go by a familiar name. So as you may know, our very first ship in our Carnival, Carnival Cruise Line fleet was the Mardi Gras, so we really wanted to pay homage to that when we started building this ship. It is a very innovative ship and something big and fun that's very different than any of the other ships in our fleet, and we'll talk a little bit about all of these new features that we have on Mardi Gras. So some fun facts. Mardi Gras will be the largest ship in our fleet, and it is the first of our two ships in our Excel class. The full guest occupancy is about 6,630. We'll have a total of 2,641 guest rooms. One of the things we did differently on Mardi Gras is we added more accessible staterooms. We also have 180 suites in 11 different categories and 20 new stateroom types that have been introduced on Mardi Gras. This is also very exciting is that it will be the first North American based ship that is powered by liquefied natural gas. So we are definitely moving in a more environmentally friendly direction. And we will start to do that on any new ships that we build or any ships that we are able to um, put that LNG on those ships to accommodate. Uh, and we have our first ever roller coaster at sea. This is a first in the cruise industry. Bolt is a ultimate sea coaster and I will talk a little bit more about that as well. So on this ship, we have these six distinct zones and they are featuring brand new experiences that will give you new opportunities for food, for drink and the fun. <laughs> uh, so Grand Central is what we know as the atrium. But as you can see here, there's high ceilings, there's floor to ceiling windows with sweeping views of the sea. And what's unique about Grand Central is this will transform 
into a show venue after dark. So this will be a really neat kind of zone and area to lounge during the day and get some entertainment and some fun at night. And of course, Mardi Gras wouldn't be Mardi Gras without having homage to New Orleans. So we have our French Quarter, which is very New Orleans inspired. And you'll find a lot of eateries and drinks that are inspired by that uh, New Orleans kind of Cajun feel and Creole feel. So we uh, have a very whimsical bar here called the Fortune Teller. And you can see the colors and the scheme is very New Orleans inspired. And we partnered with Emeril Lagasse. So he is going to have a Emeril's Bistro 1396, which will really celebrate his culture and his cuisine in this, uh, in this restaurant. So we're very excited to have Emeril on board as a partner with us. So this is the ultimate playground. So the ultimate playground has that bolt all electric thrill ride that really puts the power of the speed in your hands. And so this roller coaster is going to be at the top of the ship. Looks very fun, very exciting, and very thrilling. Uh, along with that, we have our sports square where we have mini golf, a full-size basketball court, as well as a ropes course. And then waterworks among many other activities, uh, sports related, mini golf, et cetera. So this is gonna be a very fun place to spend the day. Now the Carnival Kitchen is something that we debuted on the Carnival Panorama. And so what this is offering for any of you foodies out there, this is a culinary experience where we're offering different cooking classes. And we have our master chefs that will be walking you through a variety of not only carnival recipes like our famous chocolate melting cake, but there will also be Italian inspired uh, classes and Asian inspired classes. So this is a fun and very unique experience. It's a small group of guests that you would need to make reservations ahead of time, but it is a very uh, interesting space and a very fun kind of different way to spend a couple hours uh, getting to know some recipes and having the fun and experience of, of cooking while you're on your cruise. We also partnered with Guy Fieri a few years ago. So we've been enhancing his uh, Guy's Burger Joint, which he then rolled out a Guy's Smokehouse and Brew House where we brew our own beer on board the ship. And now he has a barbecue inspired flavor town recipes of all of his favorite barbecue and uh, Southern kind of food that he is debuting in the Smokehouse. And as I mentioned before, which was on the Radiance, we will also have this on Mardi Gras is Shaquille O'Neal's Big Chicken Shack. So all of his favorites and we get to enjoy that now too. So this looks like a very cool space to uh, get some great fried chicken. Our Serenity Deck is our adults only retreat. So in this space, it is 21 and older. It's a beautiful layout here. Uh, you've got two decks and this is really truly for adults to uh, spend some nice quality and quiet time away from the, all the fun that they, you may be having while you're on your cruise. On the Mardi Gras, I mentioned we, we've debuted these new suite categories. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this because this is different and something new that we don't have on any of our other ships. So we've act, added some presidential suites, uh, some Excel aft suites, Excel corner suites, and then these 32 Excel suites that have direct access to our Loft 19. Uh, so you will get standard amenities that you would get if you booked a typical suite, but then you'll also have some other perks such as uh, main, main dining room priority seating, you'll get bathrobes, bottled water, and anybody who's in an Excel level guest suite will have priority access to the Loft 19 cabanas. So I wanted to show you the Carnival Excel presidential suite, which is 1120 square feet. It does have two portions to the room. So this is the bedroom and then you have your lounge and main area uh, in that suite. And then if you walk out to the balcony, you can see how impressive that is. And over here to your right, uh, you have a private hot tub on your Excel presidential suite. So that's a pretty nice perk. I wanted to show you the summer landing to point out on the right and the left, you can see the red on the wraparound and that is the Excel aft suite balcony. So again, here you can see you have a private hot tub outside on your balcony and it is a spacious suite as well. Loft 19 is on deck 19 of the ship. So on deck 19, you've got this lanai pool, you have private cabanas, 
there's going to be food and beverage service up here as well. And as I mentioned, anybody booked in an Excel suite will have priority access to reserving those cabanas. Uh, those Excel suites also have direct access to Loft 19. So another very, very nice perk to have when you book that Excel suite. So we introduced Havana State Rooms on our Panorama ship. And Havana is uh, basically, this is a nice experience too. So you will need to be 12 years or older to be able to stay in one of our Havana state rooms. They are located on deck four at the back of the ship. This is a very limited number of these. And uh, there's about 45 of them between the port side and starboard side. You can see here, I'm showing you a uh, Havana suite, but there is everything from an interior all the way up to a suite level. When you book the suite, you have a private patio on the front, the hammock, patio chairs, and then there's a walkway that actually will take you back here to this Havana pool that I'm showing you. So only guests that are booked in Havana staterooms have access to this back area throughout the entire cruise. So nobody else will have access to this. It's very exclusive to you. Again, another nice perk for booking a Havana stateroom. Then we also have our family harbor staterooms and suites. So this cabin here that I'm showing you is a family harbor suite. And you can see on the left-hand side, just over here, there's a track. So this actually does pull out a curtain. So if there's privacy for the kids, if they wanna sleep on one side, you can sleep up to three and then you can sleep the adults on the other side. This cabin also has a bath and a half, which is nice if you're traveling with your family of five. And you also have access to a family harbor lounge. So they offer breakfast in the morning, they have a 24 hour snack service, board games, movies, video games, et cetera. If you are booked in a family harbor stateroom, most, most specialty restaurants, the kids will eat free. And then you also get a free evening of night owls babysitting service. So I just wanted to show you a little peek at what that family harbor lounge looks like. Again, you'd have to be able to access this with your key card if you are booked in a family harbor stateroom. So another very exclusive perk for you. So with the Mardi Gras coming in to sail, we did build a state-of-the-art cruise terminal in Port Canaveral. So this was specifically designed for Mardi Gras arrival, and it is a completely fitted and um, very comfortable um, terminal for our guests that are going to be sailing on Mardi Gras, and this is currently complete. So Terminal 3 launch pad is what we've called it. Very fitting for Port Canaveral. So we are celebrating a big milestone in 2022. It is our 50th birthday in March. So with that said, we thought it would be very fitting to build Carnival Celebration. This is setting sail from Miami and it is really in an anticipation and celebrating our big milestone, which we would not have been able to do without you. And uh, the, like I said, celebration will be very, is a sister ship to Mardi Gras. So she will have a lot of the same features that I just shared with you. Uh, but this is a this is a big one for us and we can't wait. So this has already started to be built and we can't wait to welcome her to our fleet. The Port of Miami will be home to Carnival Celebration anticipated for November of 2022. We are refitting our terminal there as well uh, to accommodate all of our guests that will be sailing on Celebration. So looking forward to that. So we've got Bolt and then there will be some other surprises on Celebration. So we'll see how uh, that ship really plays into this theme of Celebration, but we're, we're very excited to have a sister ship to Mardi Gras and can't wait to have Bolt. More birthday fun in 2022. So we're doing something called Carnival Celebration Cruises. And what this is, is basically we're doing a couple of different things. Our ships will be meeting up while they're sailing. So we'll have two ships meeting up it's at sea. And during that time of the meetup, there will be a deck party hosted on Lido uh, with the DJ and playlist production crew. And so this will be a really fun kind of engaging way to have our two ships sailing side by side while we're celebrating such a big milestone uh, for us. Along with that, besides the fun ship meetups, we're gonna be doing a lot of different things in terms of entertainment 
in in terms of drinks and then we'll have a lot of throwbacks so if you all remember the uh, midnight buffet we will be bringing those back on the carnival celebration cruises along with a lot of other surprises so something very fun very different you can see we have our meetups already scheduled so the ships that will be meeting at sea and where they will be meeting at sea is, is something very unique and a different experience if uh, you like to have some fun. And so contact your travel advisor to find out more details on these celebration cruises. Finally, I wanted to share with you an exclusive offer we've put together for this travel show. So this is exclusive to you when you book through Morris Murdoch Travel. It is in including a three category upgrade. You will also get some onboard credit depending on the length of your cruise. And it's open on all of our ships and durations wherever we have our fun select offer available. So I definitely recommend contacting your Morris Murdoch Travel Advisor. Uh, this offer does expire on February 15th, so take advantage of it now while you can. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we are thrilled to be able to share some very exciting news and looking forward to the future. And thank you for your support and your partnership during this time. <laughs>